Hi, hello students. Welcome to Let's Understand Physics. We are doing a revision series for class 10 students from light reflection and refraction chapter. So, we are doing long answer questions from previous year question papers. So, this is another interesting model based on refractive index of light. Okay, so let's see the question. Same 5 mark question passage based. They have given the passage and based on this there are questions asked. So that you have to answer them or if it is numerical you have to solve them. Understood? So let's see what is the question. The ability of a medium to refract light is expressed in terms of its optical density. As we know if you have transparent media the light if it is traveling from one medium to another medium it refracts. The refraction the angle depends upon the angle or speed of light depends upon particular medium optical density. Understood? Then optical density has a definite connotation. It is not the same as mass density. We know right density with respect to mass. Density is equal to mass by volume. But they are telling refraction of light is through transparent medium but that optical density doesn't depend upon the mass density of the medium. Okay. On comparing two media, the one with a large refractive index is optically denser medium. So, when they have given two different transparent media for example water and glass then depending upon the optical denser medium the light refracts isn't it so how do you decide which is optically denser or optically rarer it depends upon the refractive index of the medium understood the other medium with the lower refractive index is optically rarer so in water and glass which has less rip uh, refractive index then we call that as optically rarer medium understood if which has more refractive index we call it as optically denser medium that is what they are telling also the speed of light through a given medium is inversely proportional to its optical density that means if optical density is more then the speed will be less it is inversely proportional that is what they have given understood now let's see the question and we will see what answers we have to write for those questions okay let's see first one from the passage determine the speed of light in diamond if the refractive index of a diamond with respect to vacuum is 2.42 speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So, they have given speed of light in vacuum and you have to find speed of light in diamond if the refractive index of diamond is 2.42. Now, we have here actually two types of refractive index. One is absolute refractive index and the second one is relative refractive index. Understood? So, absolute refractive index means you are comparing the speed with respect to air to the given medium, air or vacuum. Understood? If it is relative refractive index, then you are comparing the speeds of two different media other than air or vacuum. Understood? So, here they are asking you the speed of the speed of light in diamond you have to find with respect to vacuum itself so you are finding speed of diamond equal to how much understood speed we take v you know right now speed of light in air a vacuum value they have given understood and the refractive index also is given of diamond now let's see how to do now, the formula is, we can write mu or nu also can be written depending upon the book. 
of diamond will be equal to speed of light in air or vacuum which can be written as c okay so divided by speed of light in the medium here medium is diamond so we can write mu d is equal to c by v of diamond so you know mu value and you know c value which is given in the question 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and mu is given 2.42 understood let's just substitute and find the answer then vd will be equal to c by mu d understood so vd is equal to c is how much 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second divided by mu value is given 2.42 you have to simplify this and write the answer. How much ever you get that will be the speed of light in diamond. Understood? Now simplify and tell me the answer. How much you will get? You will get the value as 1.25. If you simplify this into 10 to the power of 8 will be there. That is meter per second. This is the speed of light in diamond. Understood? Now, let us see second question. Refractive indices of glass, water and carbon disulfide are 1.5, 1.33 and 1.62. So, what are given? Mu G, mu W and mu C if you take, their values are given. If a ray of light is incident in these media at the same angle then write the increasing order of the angle of refraction in this medium so in the passage itself they told and isn't it so what happens depending upon the optical density the light refracts isn't it now what does that mean you know refraction yes or no here what is given mu w is given mu g is given and mu c is given what are the values they have given see the question now mu g is given how much mu z is equal to 1.5 then mu water is equal to how much let's see 1.33 and 1.62 1.33 and mu c is equal to 1.62 these are the values given now in these three values which has less refractive index water isn't it so if less refractive index that means speed will be more that is what they told inversely proportional isn't it so if speed is more what happens what happens to the angle that you should tell understood if speed is more the light bends away from the normal or towards the normal that you should know when the light is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium what do we say it bends denser to rarer it bends away from the normal isn't it yes or no now if it has more refractive index it bends more understood now then what will be the speeds v water will be having more speed than v glass than v copper sulfide understood what is the question they have asked now theta then write the increasing order of the angle of refraction in this media so increasing angle they are asking in what the angle will be more that is what you have to tell now now see here mu water is 1.33 mu g is 1.5 mu c is 1.62 we know the speed and mu are inversely proportional isn't it so and mu formula if you write let's write mu is equal to c by v is equal to sin i by sin r isn't it with respect to angle if you write with this formula you can write 
V is proportional to sin R. Understood? Now, whichever has less speed, its sine angle also will be less, so that the angle of refraction also will be less. Understood? Now, by this, you can say V water is greater than V glass is greater than Vc, isn't it? Because Vc has more refractive index. Now, V and sin R are directly proportional, isn't it? So, whichever has V more, sin R also will be more, isn't it? Whichever has more V, sin R also will be more, so that R also will be more. So, R water is greater than R glass is greater than R C. Understood? So, this is the angles value you have to write. I hope everybody understood this. In third question, again you have A and B. Third one, C A. The speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and in water 2.25 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. The speeds are given. Which one of the two is optically denser and why? So, by deciding using speed of light, you have to decide which is optically denser. That means optically denser means what? The speed should be less. So, whichever medium has the speed of light less, that will be the optically denser medium. Understood? So, that is what you have to write. In optically denser medium, the speed of light decreases. So, in the given two media, the speed of light is less in glass. That is why the glass is taken as optically denser medium. Understood? So, B question. A ray of light is incident normally at the water glass interface. Then normally see this condition. When it enters a thick glass container filled with water. Okay. What is happening? Water glass interface. How it is happening? It is entering a thick glass container filled with water it seems. You have a glass container and it is filled with water. Then what will happen to the path of the ray after entering the glass? What happens when it is entering the glass? When you see this word normally itself, you have to say when the incident angle normally means it becomes 0 degree, then angle of refraction also will become 0 only. So, there won't be any deviation. The refraction does not take place. The light travels in the straight line only. Understood? Because it is normal incidence. Let's go.